So our first problem, 3 fourths x minus 1 half is equal to 1 third. The first thing that I want to do is find the least common denominator. How do I do that? Well, the least common denominator is the smallest number that 4, 2, and 3 will divide into evenly, so that's 12. All three of those divide into 12. Once you find your common denominator, the next thing that you want to do is you're going to multiply each term in the problem by that common denominator. Now, you can do one of two things. You can either A, write your 12 out here, your least common denominator, and do distributed property that way, or you can physically write it down, which is what I like to do, because that way I'm showing that I'm doing the distributed property here, I'm going to do the distributed property here, and distribute here. So I'm just showing you physically that's what you're doing. So minus 1 half multiplied to my distributing 12 over 1 is equal to 1 third multiplied to my distributing 12 over 1. Now remember, I put these little ones underneath the 12 because all real numbers have an understood 1 as your denominator. It's just never there, my little spirit ones. So the next thing I'm going to do is reduce this. Um, when I reduce this, 4 divides into 4 once. 4 divides into 12 three times. So that gives me a 3 multiplied to 3x. So that's 3 times 3x. Over here, I'm going to say 2 divides into 2 once. 2 divides into 12 six times, so that leaves me a 6, and that leaves me negative 1. So negative 1 times 6. Okay, and that's going to be equal to, over here, 3 divides into 3 once, 3 divides into 12 four times, so that leaves me 4 times 1. Now, what you just did, the distributive property, eliminated the fractions, eliminated the denominators in every one of those pieces. Now all you have left is a basic equation, and so what we have to do is we have to distribute our parentheses, get rid of our parentheses. We're going to collect like terms by either moving our constants to the same side or the variables to the same side, depending on the problem that we have. So when I rewrite this, I get 9x minus 6 is equal to 4, okay? And now we're going to do this. I'm going to move my 6 over to the other side by doing the opposite, and that gives me 9x over here is equal to 10, and I'm going to rewrite this up here off to the side because I write really big, sorry. Okay, so I have 9x is equal to 10. And our last step is going to be to divide everything by 9 because you always want to get that x to have a 1 in front of it. So when I do division, I get 9 divided by 9 is 1. 10 over 9. It's an improper fraction. There's nothing that you can do with that. You can't reduce it. If you could reduce it, you should reduce it but you don't have to um, turn it into a mixed number. You can leave it as an improper fraction. We encourage you to leave them as improper fractions now. All right, that's all I have to say about this problem. Come back and we're gonna do one more example.